Welcome to The Lift with Sheila Robinson Kiss. Come on in. There's always a special place set aside for you here where you can relax, kick up your heels, pour yourself a nice refreshing drink, and prepare to be lifted and soar. Hi, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to The Lift with Sheila Robinson Kiss. I am making this video on request of a couple of the YouTube subscribers. So I do read your notes and I try to respond as often as I can. And I, I really do appreciate the feedback. Uh, the friends and lovers we lose along the way. Um, again, I'm, I'm creating this piece in, in response to so many um, heartbroken folks. I've received a number of um, emails and letters and, and, and posts from people who are um, sad and many in despair after a, a relationship has ended. And I, I don't frequently put disclaimers out like this on my videos, but I, I think it's important uh, for everyone to understand that th this really is a video for people who've just been uh, devastated after a relationship ends. If, if that's not you, <laughs> the video probably won't uh, resonate with you. So as, as much as I love you and appreciate your support, you may want to tune in uh, for, for the next one. But for those of you who can already relate to, to what I'm talking about uh, with, with, with these relationships that, that come in and may start out so delightful and, and wonderful and they just end up uh, rocking our world in, in more, way, more ways than one. I can tell you that I am familiar um, with, with this feeling of devastation because it has knocked on my door. Uh, three times <laughs> in my life and Lord knows I hope it doesn't knock again. Uh, one time was with a family member. Uh, one was with someone I thought was a trusted and dear friend and uh, the third time was with a significant other that I really uh, deeply loved and cared about and, and, and when I tell you that uh, I would not wish <laughs> that pain on my worst enemy. I mean, it. usually our worst enemy, we don't care how they feel, but this was the kind of devastation where it was a, a victory to get up, take a shower, eat something. It was a, a, a physical um, pain as, as well. And over time, I've really come to understand uh, and have really great respect for those kind of relationships because the wounds run so deep because the love runs so deep run so deep. You see, we invite someone in and we give them the access pass. Uh, they have the keys to our hearts, which is the holy grail um, of, of love and relationship. So uh, what they do with those keys uh, is, is, is not always um, pleasant. I remember when I was in the throes of this really uh, devastating loss after relationships had ended and I pray to God my prayer was if, if you will lift me out of this I promise that I will do everything I can for the rest of my life to keep people lifted up vital and and living good whole lives so that's what this work is about on YouTube it is a privilege and an honor to be invited into your life and to watch this channel flourish and grow the way that it is. I really appreciate your support. But back to this 
back to this devastation, I want to share a couple things with you that I feel will help you, um, uh, whether the relationship has ended or it's ending, I feel that this will help you to begin to heal your wounds in a very real way and, and walk forward uh, toward the destiny um, that is intended for you. Number one, understand that nothing good together ever breaks apart. Repeat again, nothing good together ever breaks apart. When a relationship breaks apart, there is imbalance, imbalance and a lack of health in some area of the relationship. I was working with a dear woman uh, last year and uh, in total despair after her husband of 22 years just up and walked out, announced she wanted a divorce and she looked at me, big crocodile tears with, with so much passion and said, I hear what you're saying, Sheila, but you don't understand. I love him so much. I love him so much and it's unconditional. And, and, and I heard her, uh, her, her passion and her voice resonated uh, within my soul. But here's the issue. He did not love you that way. There was disrespect and degradation in the relationship. It was the imbalance in the relationship that allowed him to go out in the blatant manner in which he did and the cruel manner and leave. So again, it's, it's back to my original statement. There's nothing good together ever breaks apart. A first step in healing is acceptance. And I, I know it's difficult to hear that when it's the last thing you want to hear, but a, a first step is acceptance. So I want you to sit in that space, okay? Uh, number two is walking into a deep place of knowing. Knowing why relationships come into our lives. I've developed a profound appreciation for this fact. The fact of the matter is people enter our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. It's a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And when that work is done, and when it's time for that relationship to come to an end, if you don't acknowledge that and move through that transition with some manner of grace and dignity, you will set up the circumstances for a violent, a violent and possibly uh, turbulent and painful end for that relationship. I had mentioned to you earlier that uh, someone I thought was a trusted and dear friend, you know, that relationship went up in smoke. And I remember very clearly in my spirit, I knew this is not good, <laughs> Sheila. This is imbalanced. There are respect issues here. You need to just walk away and get a different program. Uh, but, you know, d due to my own uh, conversations in my head, well, you know, no, it's been a long standing French, you know, there's history, whatever. I, I kept delaying and talking myself out of the inevitable. And I promise you that we get so much of a grace period. I really believe the good Lord wants to work with us, doesn't want to see us hurt and, and you know, in, in despair. But, you know, you're, you're either going to listen and heed the warnings or the plug is going to be pulled. In this case, the plug was pulled. And when I tell you that uh, it, I was treated, it, it was horrible. And when I say ice cold baby it was ice cold and it didn't have to happen but a refusal to just be graceful look at the writing on the wall 
again, I, I know sometimes it's difficult to hear, but if if a relationship has ended or is ending, I want you to take a deep breath, take several deep breaths, put your chin up, hold it up high, and you are to walk forward in a dignified manner. And next point number three, close the door. Close that door and never look back. This is why. Uh, and, 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 and these words really uh, resonate with me. And, and if you need to hear it again, play, play the recording, this video over. But many a man and woman has lost a brightly lit future because of an insistence on gripping a dimly lit past. There, do you honestly believe, do you honestly believe that you just come here and there's just a few people who are going to be sweet to you, love you, respect you, live you honestly believe that? It, you know, there's six to seven billion people on the planet. Trust me, close the door, don't look back. The sweetness and goodness will find you. And next, I hear people all the time, I'm going to get revenge. I'm going to slash tires. I'm going to show them this or that. This may surprise you, but I'm giving you an assignment. And your assignment is to, I want you to seek the, the sweetest revenge of all, which is the best revenge. And that revenge is to live well, to be happy, to be joyful, to be in shape, to be out in the sun, to swim, to laugh, to play, to eat good food, read good books, have an amazing career, all of that. This is the revenge that I want you to seek. And trust me, it's delicious and there's nothing like it uh, for these people who have uh, thrown us in, in the trash uh, oftentimes very cruelly. Um, on a serious note, I'm not ashamed to tell you, I have been thrown in the trash um, a few times and that is not where God wants you. He does not want you in that trash can of despair and sadness and doubt and grief. He doesn't specialize in trash. He specializes in recycling programs. So I'm telling you uh, that you can go on, um, you can heal, you can claim that for yourself and just walk in the freedom of knowing. This this I, I truly believe with all my heart that one door never closes without another one opening, even if it's just a little crack, kick it down and bust all the way through it. Thank you so much. Uh, I absolutely appreciate your time and I'll see you uh, next week on The Lift.